The following segment is brought to you by Hollow Creek Kennels in Leesville, South Carolina. And Outdoors with Joey Mines. Well, folks, one of my dear friends, Pat Watts. We're in Leesville, South Carolina, Hollow Creek Kennels. Pat, you've got a very special little girl right here. Let's talk about that. This is Emma, and I call her Emma Lou when she's done anything bad. <laughs> but she's Emma, and she's uh, one of my sweet little girls. She's only about 27 pounds. Okay. And she, you met her earlier on one of your first, one of our first shows, uh, three and a half years ago. Not first shows, but three and a half years ago, she was on your show. You know, she was actually at our house, and you brought some puppies there, mm -hmm. and we kept one of the puppies. And I'll be honest with you, her little name's Cricket. And I'm sure a lot of you out there have seen Little Cricket on the show. She is precious. So we thank you for Little Cricket. This yeah. is her sister, and she's got something uh, in the house right now. Let's talk about that. Yes, on Valentine's Day, Emma had 10 puppies. Wow. <laughs> she, look at, she, didn't you, Emma? She's so she's, sure to, oh, she yeah. had no trouble whelping. She's just a really good mother. And uh, she had six girls and four boys. And they're just doing real well. Today their eyes opened. Well, they're two weeks old. They're two weeks old. We we just visited with them. In another six weeks or five weeks, we will be taking one of those puppies back to Lagrange, Georgia, and you're going to be seeing little Katie did. How about that for a name? We've got a cricket, we've got a bug, and now we've got a Katie, Katie did, did. <laughs> and uh, we'll name her Katie. She'll be a, a very special part of our lives. Now, Pat, as far as hunting dogs, these little dogs are bred to hunt. I have a hunting line. I do field breeding only. Um, if they can't hunt, they don't get bred around here. And everything is centered around hunting because that's what they were bred to do. Okay. Well, one thing for sure, you have seen little ladybug hunting all the time with me. She's my pheasant dog, doves, ducks, quail. She has been a big part of the show for, mm -hmm. now she's 11 years old and Bud's moving a little slow, but uh, she's still very precious in our lives. I'm concerned that Pat doesn't have enough dogs. Uh, how many have we got now, Pat? We have right now 14. <laughs> <laughs> now half of those are retired. Uh, okay. they're, they're like me, they're getting a little older. Okay. <laughs> so they're they're retired but they all still have work to do around here. So they and they're they they have the perfect place to live. Oh absolutely. You've got just, uh, Lake Murray is about fifty feet behind us and uh, the dogs when you let them out they go swimming every day. They run. Mm -hmm. Um they've got a pretty good life here at Hollow Creek County. It's tough, I'm telling you. Folks one thing about Pat's dogs. It's called a waiting list and I can honestly say I understand why and there are a lot of people out there and there's a lot of you out there that that call me and talk to me about Boykin Spaniels and yes I'm a Boykin Spaniel lover for sure. What's involved in getting one of your puppies? Well usually people will find me on the internet or through a reference or sort because I don't advertise. I don't I don't need to and I don't do it but um They'll call me and want to talk about Boykins. Okay. And on my website, it clearly states how you get a puppy. You know, you first have to read my qualifications. Sure. And then you have to call me. And we talk for a long time. We interview each other. I understand. And to get on the list, you have to pay a reservation fee. And it's non-refundable because right. I don't want you getting on several lists. And then when the first puppy that comes along, because I breed to the list. Okay. So I don't breed anything speculative. Everything that's born here has a home to go to you know, on day six weeks, seven weeks, eight weeks. I send them out at eight weeks, okay. so I'm not like other breeders. I do keep them to eight weeks because I train them a lot here before they ever go home. But getting on my list is, it's a pretty selective list, but that's because uh, that's what I want to do. I want to breed an excellent field dog that can still do anything you want it to do. Well, this will be our fourth little dog, little Katie did, and I can honestly say I can't wait uh, to teach her how to hunt. Little Cricket, let me back up a little bit about my sweet little Cricket. My wife uh, took little Cricket and spoiled her. Uh -huh. And I, you know, I think it's my <laughs> wife's uh, <laughs> dog now. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't like to hunt like Bug and little Dixie. So this new little Katie did, I'm gonna teach her how to hunt and we're gonna actually show you 
watching her grow up. I'm going to have Dr. Durham with the LaGrange Veterinary Hospital. We will be visiting him on the checkups, and we're going to talk about how to keep that little boykin spaniel and your dog at home healthy. Folks, what a wonderful breed. Uh, we're excited to be back at Hollow Creek Kennels. Uh, we've got quite a friendship with dogs. Yes, we do. we got a love of it, a passion for it is what I like to call it. Yeah. Folks, uh, y'all stay with us. We'll be right back.